I'm saying, I'm saying it's a small team, so maybe them being a small team, mm -hmm. uh, it might work out. Yeah. Yeah, but might as well go. People yeah, are saying, it, but people it, are saying, it, people are saying, is a small team, is a small team. How long are we gonna give this Arsenal team? A, uh, we're gonna call it a project because people need to understand something. I think that's gonna be four. It's already four years already. When the season mm -hmm. finishes, it will start its fifth year. So I, I, I think Arsenal are comparing Ateta to club and Pep Guardiola and that's how many how, how long they've stayed in their club mm -hmm. not winning yeah. because you have to be the project I'm like yes you can build a project you can stay for a long but if you do not win all that thing that is coming up will not stay away Aston Villa is Unaemi they'll keep straining they, because they're potentially going to be in the Champions League Chelsea will be back regardless of how, how terrible we have been we'll come back United will be back Liverpool will come back even sports will come back so is that's not going to tell us we're going to be keep building, keep building, keep building and home winning? It will come to see where the realization is to come in that this one is not good enough. Let's, let's get him out of the club. It's not good enough. We have to get yeah, they, they'll, they'll, come, they'll come a moment in time, they'll put him out. Like, they, there's always demands, you know? Like, mm -hmm. uh, you cannot always just be a loser and think that, okay, I'll continue being a loser and uh, they'll continue uh, accepting. There's obviously certain fans who are going to be like you know what i've had enough mm -hmm. uh this is enough like i cannot we can't continue giving him opportunities you know and uh mm -hmm. then they'll be like okay we, we need somebody else to win us over but i just think like give him time you know because the the bad thing is this look what's na what's there next okay how long does a stepping stone go for like how long like i don't know because people say okay he's a stepping stone maybe Mm -hmm. let's say maybe he is a stepping stone but how long does a stepping stone go for like uh how long do we give him but other people are like oh no um maybe uh oh no no other people are like oh look at xavi at uh, barcelona xavi Sabia went there uh, yeah Sabia yeah uh, yeah yeah xavi went there and what and what what won the league in the first season and mm -hmm. they're like oh look at this one look at this one and this guy was under pep so why should we why should we give him um why should we give him time? You know what I mean? That's what they're saying. Why should we give him time? Mm -hmm. But I, I'm like, what, 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 else, what else is there, though? What else is there, to be honest, though? Like, let's say, for instance, if they mm -hmm. don't give Ateta time, who else is there to go pick up right now? Like, are there managers who are winners that are, are available right now? I don't think they are. I think maybe, unless there's a chance where there's a, a manager who's a winner and Ateta is still losing. Mm -hmm. And the but but the thing about it is, if it was up to me personally, I wouldn't be giving this. I, I'd be giving him pressure, but I wouldn't be saying, "Oh, get him out of my club." Do you get my point? Mm -hmm. Because let's be honest, man. Arsenal were a banter club. They were a yeah. banter club. People were laughing. Remember, people were yeah. laughing. They were a banter he's, club. He's changed. He's changed them a lot. He's changed their mentality. Let's not lie. Let's not pretend mm -hmm. as if this man hasn't changed Arsenal's mentality. So mm -hmm. if people keep um. If people keep saying, oh, we need better, we need to do this, L look at the progress. Look, I know that he bought one. Look, out of banter, sometimes I come on channels and just banter them and say, look, he 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 bought one, uh, he bought one, what? He bought one, he bought one top four. Then after top four, he also bought one, what do you call it again? He bought one, uh, uh, the league last season. Mm -hmm. Then after that, he's been knocked out in many, many, He's been knocked out in many, many, what you call that, in many, many cups. But mm -hmm. I think people have to be careful. <laughs> grass, the grass and green on the other side, you know. I've mm -hmm. seen players leave clubs thinking they're gonna do better. Uh, I've seen managers, managers, uh, people say, "Oh, this manager has to leave," and then think that they can do better. The grass is never green on the other side. I think these guys should stick with Tateta. Stick with him until there's a point where you're like, mm, "No, this is maybe too much." But don't tell me, "Oh, just because last year we were close." And then this year, if we don't win it, but but there's progress. Okay, let, let's talk. Let me, okay, let, me okay. Okay. Uh, let me say something. Haven't you haven't you seen progress though with this Arsenal? So I think yeah, there is a progress, but I still yeah. think they are missing something, which is someone that has the know-how. And I think English oh, so media. You, so you think they need to get somebody who has the know-how? Yes, for me, and I'm going to give you a reason. I think English media too are not helping Arsenal. The English media and their fan base are very very annoying and getting on my nuts a lot and i'm gonna tell you the reason is because this team is young we know this team is a couple of some some experienced players but 
Am I putting my heart out and betting on this Arsenal team to win the UCL? No. I'm not putting my money out on them to win the Premier League. Because one, they don't have the manager who has the know-how. They don't have a match winner. That's number two. And for me, looking at this thing for me, the reason I said I don't think Atata is, yes, he's improved them in terms of governing them, putting putting them in a pedestal. But mm. I look at them, that, I look at like, like them like a nearly team. And the reason I said mm. like a nearly team is, Arsenal doesn't have a number nine that scares me. Mm-hmm. They don't have a number nine that scares me. Kayaba doesn't scare me. Kayaba is like a weather. It's like an, a Chicago weather here, on and off, winter and summertime. It doesn't scare me. It, it, it flip a lot. If, if they have a clinical number like maybe like um Gal Carriers of Sporting Lisbon or Victor Simon or Edin Tony, I will get worried a little bit because I know that is the number nine that so, so not... basically you think that it's a number nine that's missing. I, I also say the that... same thing. Uh, some some Arsenal fans say they don't need a number nine. That's I what think, they told see, me. You cannot win a league without a, a, a vocal number nine, even a UCL. You because can, sometimes yeah, you need right, a yeah. moment. Because sometimes you need the moment where in a UC is gonna be tight. That guy could just pop up a menu and boom, it's game over. Imagine them have Victor Osiman as number nine. Just imagine them. And they place a team like Bayern Munich or Porto. Those mm. chances they are creating for Kaya Bat, Osiman will take one of them or two. It's game over. This because is what I say. This is what UCL, I say to them. Moment, I say that they need a number nine. They need yeah, a number need nine. And, in the UCL. and mm. in that, that, this kind of moment is very, very important for you because you need moment, which is very key, especially in UCL mm. match. Because yeah. if you're relying on Kaya Bad, it's not gonna Gabriel Jesus will not score 25 goals in the season. I'm sorry, he won't. He will not score that goals. You need a book on a banner that you can rely on and talk and say, Okay, I trust this man. And there's a question I want to talk talking about at the I understand that. Let me put it in the spot and give a scenario where I don't like Poch. I want him gone. But I'm talking as a I am as a Chelsea fan business. Let me talk as a footballing fans, mm. as a just pure football. Yeah, I will keep Poch for one more season because I think he can improve these young players. I think so. I've seen improvement. I've seen improvements in your team. Does he know how to win the league? That's a different mm. question. Entirely. He doesn't. That's the that's the issue. He did, did, did he even he didn't even win at PSG, didn't he? He failed I to win the he league. Won, he won. He won the French league in the Grand Cup. But my the big question is, does he have the know how to win the league? I don't. I, I, don't, I, I don't know, man. Let me let me say this to you guys mm-hmm. and to, to Chelsea fans. If Chelsea fans are watching. Chelsea fans need to be patient. This behavior of, okay, somebody has already failed to throw them out. I think it's a mistake. Look, Poch has made mistakes in this team, but I'm seeing a bit of like light in this team. There's mm-hmm. like there's a bit of pattern. Caicedo is finally playing good football. Uh, he knows that now he has to build the team around Cole Palmer. He's seen that. Uh, that's why maybe he's made him his penalty take and he was backing him up. But Chelsea fans, I think, be patient because I get where other Chelsea fans are, what they're saying, but what do you want Chelsea fans? How many managers? How many strikers are you going to destroy? You you need to calm down. I think you guys need to tone it down. Just give a manager time. Like, how long has Pochettino been at Chelsea? Is it 18 months? Yeah, yeah I think he just... This, you know, this is his first season. Though. Yeah, but that's the thing. He's come in. He came in in a situation where you guys spent so much money on players mm. that I think he didn't, he's not the one who wanted to spend on. You just brought that just everywhere. He has to fix the system. Mm-hmm. He sometimes gets it right and gets it wrong. But I've noticed Chelsea fans, they who else do you want? Like, I don't know, maybe Kao. I think the issue for me, I think like, the who, is, but the you guys have like, let me let me let me just say this to you of July, and maybe it might hurt Chelsea fans. Mm-hmm. You guys are so far from winning the league, yeah. and you and you you can't just jump the queue. You have to go through a system the same way as Ateta has gone to be close. But I know he's not, he's not winning it, but to get close, you have to get close first before you... But you guys want to jump. All I hear from Chelsea fans is, I want to win the UCL. I want to win this. And it's from the fact that your own owner used to just make somebody win and put them out. I think that still is instilled because, Abdullah, let's be serious. Chelsea are so far away from winning the league. You guys have to get into top four and cement yourself first into top four. Make sure you stay into top four and then gradually get close to winning the league. I but agree. No, <laughs> oh, we, we need this manager. Oh, get me this manager. But that manager might win you the league maybe by fluke or by just mm-hmm. chance. Mm-hmm. But after that, you start complaining again. Oh, we want another manager. I just think Pochettino, just give him time. Because mm-hmm. I see I see patterns of play. I don't know. Yes, Maybe but might I, think, have a different I think the issue with Poch, because yeah. if I want to talk as a Chelsea fan base now, I want him out. If I want to talk as a football fan, I'm going to give him one more season. The reason is because 
And the reason majority of the fan base are not aligning with him is because of his Tottenham Mospo alleges. Because my belief, because yes, can I ask did, you, haven't haven't you seen progress though? Because he's, he's seen, three, yeah, yeah, three, you have three points away from Man United. Yes, I've seen progress, but my issue with Poch is not even about yes. I've seen progress, and let us see. If I want to talk as a football fan, I'm gonna give you one more season because some of the players need to improve. They are young; they need to improve and everything. The big question I'm gonna ask myself is: Is he the guy that's gonna win me the Premier League title or the Champions League? That's gonna be the big question for me. Which I think the ownership knows. That's why they gave him a two-year contract. Put us in the Champions League or Europa League spot. Let's see where we go next season. Buy some couple of players like a striker, maybe like a midfielder, maybe that's another players. Let's try to make top four. If we're lucky enough, compete. At least yeah, let's but, be the but, right? but can I can I ask you something? You're saying mm -hmm. I give him. A, he's been here for one season. Yeah. One season. Come mm -hmm. on, Chelsea fans. He's been here for one season. What do you want? The season is not even over. I know. Or like, what exactly do people? I don't get. Like, I don't get Chelsea fans. Where do you want to go? Because Kao, 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 are you here with us? Mr. Kao, are you doing? Long yeah, time. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Patrick. Kao, can you yeah. please explain? I like it. Just yeah. Kao. Like, okay. Kao, they want the man gone. gone. After a few months, they want him They're gone. Busy. Where are they going to go? Which other manager are they going to spoil? Well, well, it's very simple, right? The, you know, unfortunately for us, we live in this microwave, you know, fast age where you know, only one team can win the Premier League. Only one. So in the English football pyramid, they're 96 teams, right? Only one can be top of the pile. In the Champions League, only one team can win. Does that mean everybody else is rubbish? No. Mm -hmm. Only one can win. But as long as you're enjoying the football, you're there, you're competing, you will have to take joy. And I was telling one Chelsea fan about this yesterday. And unfortunately, a lot of Chelsea fans were just idiots. I'm sorry. Just mm -hmm. pure idiots. There's some really good ones. Even in my own fan base, Man City fan, there's some idiots, but some really good ones, and they get some pure idiots, right? I'm explaining to this guy that listen, even in defeat, you have to find moments of joy. For example, that Cole Palmer for Chelsea has been a revelation. Enjoy it. That's why you watch football. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna are you gonna die because you didn't win a game? No, are you gonna be depressed because you didn't win the league? No, you have to find moments of joy, even in defeat. For us yesterday in the Champions League on Wednesday. The two things that gave me most joy, or three things, one, the one we battered Madrid into parking the bus. Number two, that Jeremy Doku showed the whole world, right, what he's all about. Every person in my fan base, especially, who has killed Jeremy Doku, saw what this boy is all about. Against Madrid, the king of the champions, that he dominated and, and destroyed them. And then number three, I saw Edison take a penalty for the first time in seven years. So, you know, there's some of my fan base, Abdullah, who think that, mm -hmm. oh, we have to win the Champions How many teams have won the treble and won the Champions League next year? Nobody. Uh, nobody. That one nobody had has. It. Nobody has. The Madrid, they're all shouting about, have never won the treble. In their so-called history. Only Barcelona, Bayern Munich, Man City. That's it. Nobody else. Mm -hmm. So, you have to have perspective. Yeah. You have to enjoy the good moments and the bad moments. You have to see what you like about how Caicedo is playing or how your right back is playing, uh, Gusto, um, Gusto. Gusto. Gusto is playing, or yeah. how Palmer is doing well and how they're beginning to improve. You have to enjoy those moments, whether you lose or whether you draw. Mm -hmm. If we make it a zero-sum game, you'll forever be miserable because someone else, someone else always is better than you. Yeah, I agree. Give the manager time to do what he needs to do. Mm hmm even Guardiola in his first year didn't win anything. Mm -hmm. Didn't win anything. Finished fourth. Yeah, and that's the best manager probably in the in the history of the world. Mm -hmm. So we need time. We need to enjoy this game. We need to enjoy being fans. We don't have this zero sum game where if you fail, you're a fraud. If you fail, you're a fraud. Look at Klopp. What can Klopp do? What's enough? He's won everything for Liverpool. Yeah. Okay, this year is not doing well because he has a challenge in the Premier League and he didn't. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't win in Europa League, but it is what it is. But Liverpool have McAllister, great player, right? Sobosla is a great player. That new boy, Kwanza, that boy in centre back, is a fantastic mm. player. Their, their, their new right back is a fantastic boy. Bro they, um, um, Bradley, you, have, whatever his name is. you have to enjoy these things. Mm, I agree with you. You know, Liverpool's yesterday, Jeremy Frimpong. Yeah, Jeremy wow. Frimpong. Um, 
Florent Vert also too. Wow. Yeah, Vert. Uh, uh, our boy from Nigeria. Um, uh, uh, what's the boy? Nakantela. Adewale Tela. Tell the other boy from Nigeria. The other boy, the striker. What's oh, um, Victor Boniface. Boniface. Yeah. They join these things. That's what the game is about, guys. Yep. We're losing what, what I call the joy of the game because of Twitter debate and Twitter. And, Twitter, and because Twitter of Twitter Twitter. English media too. Those people We're are annoying me. Because of media. I have blocked all of media. them for math law. To those bastards, I've blocked them We're all. We're losing all of the them. joy of the game as fans. The, the reason why we watch the game in the beginning or play the game in the beginning because we enjoy those moments of brilliance. Wow, yeah, look at this guy. Maradona, yeah. Romario, Pele. Pele. We didn't yeah. play for them. We didn't support, mm -hmm. support Brazil, but we enjoyed the game. Yes. We lost it. Mm -hmm. Because the media wants you to be tribal so they can yeah. get clicks for revenue. All these crazy media houses. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on. Yes. I, and the funny part about it is, as a fan, because majority of the fan base nowadays, I, it makes me laugh, is some of them are very early fan base where they, they started watching football. They started supporting Chelsea 2018, 2019, 2017, 2018. But the people that have been supporting the club 1895, 1998, 1995, 1992, you have to also give them a respect because they've been there before. They've been, they, they've been very long, but because you are new now, you believe you know more than them, which is sometimes crazy. And you see, my, my fan base, when it comes to Chelsea, we have madness in our head. You need to enter. You need to enter their brain and talk to them. Still, they won't listen. They will not listen. Yeah, but the thing is, we, we, you you guys need. I need to need to leave this guy. I see patterns of play. I mm -hmm. see that players now. I, 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 and he will he will weed out. He, he you, you know, right now he's biting his tongue. Carl, mm -hmm. you're a manager. You understand what he's doing right now. You can see some of the players. He doesn't really like them, the attitude and stuff. Yeah. He's biting mm -hmm. his tongue right now. But yeah. trust me, you will see people moved this summer. Yes, there's people he doesn't like. You can tell there's people he doesn't, they don't go with what he's going for, but he has to work with what he has. Yes, I told I people and they were laughing at me, Jackson is not a striker for a top top four team in the Prem. Jackson is not. Patrick, I said he'd rather have Jackson than Alvarez. I mean, come on. Uh, I mean, I mean, yeah. come on. I, I'm not I'm not really a Chelsea fan, but come on, let's be serious. Right? I mean, come on. Seriously? <laughs> really? In in the football, in the football that we knew growing up. You see Jackson, you see Alvarez, you see your epic with Jackson. You saw the World Cup when he's won everything. Why, why do we do this? Why do we talk like this? We need to appreciate. So, 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 uh, Abdullah, you want to go into the City versus Man City tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to quickly touch on your, um, the same I did match because I understand people are, some of the people are, are kind of make, laughing and getting happy that Madrid defeated you. I'm like, this um this Madrid uh, Madrid Man City for me is been like it's been a consecutive matches in the UCA for a very long time back to back, which for me is annoying for me because I don't know why I don't know why you've had this, this bullshit, but it is what it is. And I think sitting losing the Champions League now might really be a detriment, might really be a big problem for other teams, especially in the Premier League, because now Pep knows I can I can just I, I can just go and beat anybody anyhow. Five new, four new, seven new, because we've seen Man City does this a lot. So whoever they want to play next is in trouble. And as now as Liverpool fans, I've been hope, and I, I, I kept telling people, it's the hope that kill you. It is the hope that finish you. Manchester doesn't play any big team until Tottenham Moscow, second to the last match of the league. They will beat anybody before they play sports. Six matches more. City will win, I can guarantee you, four matches before they play sports. Will last not Liverpool win four matches in a row? I don't think so. Liverpool will have to play sports. Arsenal will have to travel to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Uh, Liverpool will play. Arsenal will play United. I don't think they will win United, and I don't think they will be sports. They will drop points. Arsenal also have to play Chelsea. They have to play Chelsea. Yeah. So when people laugh at City losing the Champions League, people need to understand that these are these are terrible winners. It can happen. You just have to move on to the next kind of new season. Stop. It can happen. The reason why people are laughing is because it's paining them that they won the treble. Let's be clear. I mean, you really expect them to go and do a double treble? Ah, it's, it's really no, no, no. I mean, really seriously, no. let's just end football. Mm -hmm. You think when you see the referee that they chose for the Madrid game, who was from Italy, the same guy who was a problem at at yeah, about two years ago? You think that's uh, by accident? I'm forgetting his name. Yeah, Osato. You think Osato, that's by accident? Yeah. You think it's by accident that you ever don't know what they're doing? No, no. Come on. Why, why? We act like children sometimes. We do act like children. We don't think with our brains. When we see things happen, we say, ah, ah no. 
because it's, it satisfies, it gives us copium. You can co use the cop as a coping mechanism because you're because you're because you're, you're in failure. United mm -hmm. fans laughing because you are 10 or 8. Mm -hmm. So saying, ah, what are these boys doing that they're winning, 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 winning at the top of the league? Yeah. But no, no, that's not good enough because you want to use that copium to, to, to cover your own misery because you're a failure. Mm -hmm. it makes no sense. Yeah, I, I wasn't able to go through yesterday against Atalanta. You know why? Mm -hmm. You know why? Because yeah. it's not good for the Premier League and no Premier League team, right? It's in the semi-finals of two competitions in Europe. It's not yeah. a good thing. It's not a good thing. Cool. It's it's I mean, the fifth spot place in Champions League is no longer there. Because it's the Premier League are too selfish, too cynical to schedule a game so that we can have breathing space for Europe. Yep. That's what's going on. Mm -hmm. It's annoying. Now, and instead of, instead of us asking these questions, we're laughing. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry, now it's annoying because Everybody have to rely on, on Aston Villa to win the Conference League at least for one. It's done. It's finished. They can't, they can't, they're not going to get it. Okay, even if Aston Villa wins the even Conference Even if they win, it's done. It's finished. Whoa. There's no few spots. Because wow. you don't have... You know I mean? Because what are Villa going to do? You have two... We're competing against Germany. Two German, two German teams are in the semi-final. One is going to go through, probably. Right? Mm -hmm. And then Leverkusen and Europa League. Right? They're yes. going to get to the final. Yes. They're going to get the fifth spot. Germany will get the fifth spot. Which means whatever struggles that Chelsea or Tottenham or anybody else wants to do, they ain't getting mm -hmm. Champions League next year. Oh, and by the way, UCL revenues next year go up by 30%. Yes. 30%. 30%, yeah. So all of a sudden, the teams that are in the top four who go in get 30% more money than they did last year. So last year, they got 110 million pounds. This year, we won 140, 150 million pounds extra, more yes. than you guys who are in eighth or seventh place. You're laughing. Imagine. Because you're ignorant. Imagine. You don't understand how the game works. And the Premier League is run by a guy who is incompetent. Yep. By chasing charges instead of allowing these teams to flourish in Europe by scheduling games so they can prosper. Yep. And now and they're out, yep. which means no Premier League is going to get the fifth spot against Germany. And it's anno very annoying. Very, it's very incompetent. Annoying. Very, very annoying. We're laughing. We think it's funny. It's very annoying. Very, very annoying. It kind of makes my I mean, head. Imagine if, do, do you know that eh, if we've got that fifth spot, uh, Abdullah? Mm -hmm. That means that if place team in England gets a European spot from yes. one to eight, mm -hmm. but now that we've lost a fifth spot, that means two places go away. Yes, Other only seven, go only away. seven can go to conference league. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, if you're, lucky. Any sense. if you're lucky, if you're lucky, if City win the FA Cup, mm -hmm. right, all of a sudden now it's now fifth and sixth, no more seven. Mm -hmm. Finish. Yes. Exactly. And it, it doesn't make any sense. And I think what three was, places what gone. Was, three places out. gone because some crazy guy like mm -hmm. doesn't allow the schedule to allow Premier League teams compete mm -hmm. in the in the in in the uh, in, in, in Europe. Exactly. Because, oh, what, and, oh, what let's, make, let's, let's, make, let's make it hard for City to win anything this year. So let's give them Champions League on a Wednesday. Then on a Saturday, let them go and play Chelsea. Even though Coventry and Man United don't have any European games, and, and they play, play on Sunday. Saturday. On Sunday. Exactly. And I'm confused. Like, why? Meanwhile, why Barcelona and Real Madrid are playing La Liga on Sunday. Uh, like, uh, on Sunday, it makes me confused. Like, why is City Paris playing on Saturday? Like, Paris Saint Germain always have their games on a Friday before a Championship game. Yeah, whether it's Tuesday or Wednesday, yes. so they can rest and recuperate and plan. Mm -hmm. Germany, same thing as well. But do you think they do everything as well for the most part? But do you need to know the new Premier League were the best team in the world? We're run by this Mr. Masters guy. We're run by incompetence bastard. That's what I'm gonna say. It's a fraud. But do you think do you think uh, the new FA Cup rules now changes? Is it because of it's money? Or? The problem as well. Instead of us, instead of us talking about these issues, we're laughing at each other. Ha 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 ha! You didn't make Champions League. Ha 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 ha! Instead of saying, what are the FA doing for smaller clubs who make money from replays? Let's say, for example, my United go to um, Britain, go to uh, Wrexham, mm -hmm. right? In the FA Cup quarter, uh, quarterfinals. Yeah, and let's say they hold Rex, they hold Man United to a zero zero draw. When Wrexham come to United, all try for the next game, half of the revenue or so goes to Wrexham. That helps their bottom line, their revenues, yeah. their playing staff, yeah. their, 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 their employees. Massive, all that one is gone away right now. Gone mm -hmm. away. Yeah, gone. Now it's because of no 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 yeah. they they will have to. What play is Mr. Masters doing for the game? Is following charges against Chelsea and City because United and Co want it. So fixing the game and making sure that grassroots football survives. Mm -hmm. Politics and lawyers killing the game in, in England. I, I think I think I think firstly is incompetent and secondly, see, all of them are greedy bastards. 
all of them are greedy bastards. That's that, especially you see those English media people, and especially those FA, they have who they support, and I think they are very annoyed because City are topping the Premier League table. They are annoyed. City has been winning the league for the past three, four seasons now, and if City winning this year, it's gonna be a Premier, it's gonna be a record that has never happened in Premier League before. So they are angry because Arsenal doesn't Arsenal is not on top of the table. Liverpool, look at the way they sell Liverpool and Arsenal in the Premier League, and they've never even won the league at all. And they are bashing Man I'm like, you're bashing a team who has won the Premier League twice or three times in a row. That doesn't make any sense to me. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. Because this team knows how to win it. So you're putting us in a yeah, the, the, the problem is that, is that unfortunately for us, our the, the general fan base are so uneducated, so ignorant that they pick up these little things and they laugh, laugh, laugh. Instead of asking the tough questions. Mm-hmm. The real deep question around football. The real deep questions about why are they going to a bigger Champions League when the Super League was around the corner? Yeah. Why are Cup replays being scrapped? Why isn't the money going to the EFL clubs? What is going on in football? Yeah. Why are the Americans owning almost two thirds of the of the clubs in England and bringing the franchise model? Mm-hmm. What is going on in this game? Mm-hmm. But no, that's not good enough because the media, all these Sky Sports and Talk Sports, all these guys will spin you around, make it divide us so they can conquer us with their clicks to so make revenue. No one is asking those questions. Yep. No one does. Now Germany gets a fifth spot. Can you imagine Frankfurt, Freiburg, or Frankfurt get the fifth spot over Chelsea or United in the Champions League next year with 30% more revenues? Imagine that. Imagine Frankfurt and uh, Germany and Italy get the fifth spot. And I think because Italy, I think Italy thought to automatically get the fifth spot ahead of English team. It doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't make any sense at all. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just really. Before I, you talk about Patrick, it, Patrick knows me. I, I'm, you know, I, I, I don't talk too much of this stuff. My, my comments on Twitter are very clear. I don't care. People say, "Oh, why are you saying this? You don't get, you don't get friends." I don't care. Just tell mm-hmm. the truth. Whether you like it or not, I'll tell you the truth. Yep. I'll tell you yeah. the truth. Yeah. So and the game is dying. The game is dying. When a club invests hundreds of millions, I went to Manchester last week. I spent the whole about seven to ten days there. Mm-hmm. Took my son there for the one one program that they have there at Man City for under mm-hmm. eights. What I saw, what they've done to that area is just incredible. The investment, the growth, the surrounding business areas, how the world perked up, how people are spending money, how people are the investment they've made. There's a whole pitch in the, in the academy where they have a blue pitch. It's open to the community. Anybody wants to come and rent it down, can rent it down, play football there. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's astro, astro pitch, blue. You see kids mm-hmm. coming there all the time. That wasn't there before. And yet you're pointing fingers at this club because they're owned by an Arab guy with brown skin. <laughs> you prefer the Americans who have white skin, Abi. That's what you prefer. Lo, 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 like more language. Lo, but the same who are, who, who are pointing fingers are the same guys who go to Dubai for holiday in, in December for Christmas no, because it's nice and warm and fly business class on Emirates. Mm-hmm. What are we talking about here? And then they use the poor people, people who can't afford anything, as their stoking mechanism to fire up everybody else, get upset and divide us. But they, yep. still, but they still go to Dubai for, for holiday. Yeah. How do I know? Because I see them on the plane. Mm-hmm. I fly in the same class with them. I see them in the hotels. Yeah, MB, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. Don't worry. I'll ask him. I'll ask him. Sure, sure don't worry. So, um, Takao, you're, you're, now let's talk about the FA Cup stuff. Your quick yeah. check on the preview on the FA Cup. For me, the way you guys play, we have a chance, but I'm also worried because you guys are less the ACL. You might, you might, you might turn us to it. Punching back, you might, you might, you might after you just kill us, which is kind of wrong for you because we are not good defensively in terms of set piece. We are not good, but also the way you guys play, we have our, our chance. And as long as we are clinical, the, the only player in, in that team who is clinical is Cole Palmer, who is having a tremendous, is having a tremendous season. My lord, in this guy is having a phenomenal season. So we are relying too much, we are relying a lot on Cole, which is, which is cool. But again, can other guys step up apart from Cole? That's my fear. Because you guys have a lot of match winner. Fodi, KDB, even, even um, your misfit, what's his name? Rodri. So, it makes me a little bit worried. But where is your head at in terms of the FA Cup? I mean, for me, it's very simple, right? I mean, you know, if, if City can play to their level, they should win the game. The question is, can they play to their level on Saturday after playing the Champions League on Wednesday, on 20 minutes? Mm-hmm. That is the question. Right, and if Pep brings in all these other kids to come and play, are they good enough to beat Chelsea? This is the question. Mm-hmm. Because quality for quality, I mean, to be, with all due respect, I mean, yeah. we know. I mean, there's, you know, there's no even in our worstest Premier League season in the past three or four years, over two games, 
we still didn't lose to you guys either home or away. Even with yeah. our terrible team, right? the burn out of form, injured, Holland, you know, out of form, we still didn't. The question is on Saturday morning, right? Are they up to the limit to play that game at that level? That's the question. Mm -hmm. If they're not, then you have a likelihood to win. If they are, then maybe we'll win. Based on what Pep said to that thing, Pep will not go all out too much because he said KDB and uh, Alain doesn't want to take a risk on them. So he's been very. But, but the, the thing about it is that, to, to be fair, I, I, I think we actually sometimes play better without Erling Haaland. I, I think we do. Mm -hmm. And and without De Bruyne, the last three or four games have shown, Aston Villa, a few games have shown that we can actually play better sometimes without this guy. Mm -hmm. When we play Foden through the middle, we have more joy because he has better, he, he seems to have this magic with him in the middle. Right, when you play Jack on the left and, and uh, Duke on the right, they seem to be natural wingers in that area, able to play the ball through. And with Rodri, we don't lose games. Yeah, the question becomes in what state are, is their mind at? That's the question, and, and we won't know until the game starts. Until they can start, that, that's the truth. Mm -hmm. if, if we lose this game, okay, it is what it is. We move on, right? Focus on the Premier League. If we win it, ah, okay, doubles on the, on the horizon, good after a treble, which is massive. Yeah, right. So, these are the levels we're talking about, right. I, yeah. I was talking to the Chelsea fan today. I was laughing at, oh, yeah, 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 you lost Champions League. I'm like, guy, we just won the treble. You expect us to win a double treble? It's not possible. Just it's close possible. your shop. It's not possible. Just, it's irrelevant. Yeah. The fact that we didn't win uh, this game to go to the uh, go to semi final it gives you guys hope that, okay, maybe this team is not, are not perfect, but they still have a chance to win the Premier League and the FA Cup in the same season after mm -hmm. a treble, after five trophies that they won. Mm -hmm. How many teams would be dying for that? How many teams would be dying right now to have a, cup, a chance to win with Premier League and the FA Cup in the season after the trouble? After What's the trouble. Mm -hmm. Like what you said, the mindset is key because it's very, very key. But what, what mindset would they be in terms of the players? Like they're traveling, coming back on Thursday, do some recovery, only one training on Friday, and you have to travel on, um, on Friday night or Friday afternoon to Wembley. That's a six hour journey. Where is the mindset? Jet lag and everything. So, and Pep was. People be very careful. This, goes, this goes back to my issue of the, so the unfairness and the bias. Why would they schedule this game on Saturday? On a Saturday, after a team played on a Wednesday in the Champions League, when the two other guys who are playing clearly have no Europe, nothing for a week. Why not just give it to them 24 more hours? Why not? Yeah, you know why? You know why? Yeah. You know why? You know why? Because they do not want this club to win anything. That is the bottom line. There is no other reason. I agree. You cannot tell me eh, because of TV in China, yeah. eh, because of TV in India. No. Because those guys watch the games on Sundays when we're playing against Liverpool. The same people at the same time. And they get record numbers. So don't believe that lie. Yeah. Because they know exactly what they're trying to do. That's why. Because my concern is when team plays on Saturday, you have to put the match on. It, it, for me, I was expecting United and Coventry to play on Saturday, and Chelsea to play on Sunday. You give you guys more time, you even give us more time to prepare because regardless of how we, we don't have a champion, we don't have an European time for in terms of we play only one week, one 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 match a week, we always get injured. And I'm asking myself, what the heck is gonna no champions league for us? You know, it was you know, as as Carl said, he's put it out the right way it's just silliness and you, you can tell the silliness it's obvious to see and obviously Pep hinted at it but he didn't want to say a lot but it's obvious to see exactly what they're doing because they knew that Man City are playing the Champions League game on Wednesday United yeah. have nothing that useless team United have nothing they have nothing they're doing yeah. all they're doing is chilling and Coventry are doing nothing but you know it is what it is we'll see how it how it plays out uh that's the only thing that I'm not happy about because the FA themselves who the guys who won the FA Cup could have also gone and fought with the Prem and say, "Look, lads, we want we, this. This FA Cup is part of tradition. We want high quality football matches. They might not get a high quality football match on Saturday because maybe Man City might decide, you know what? Screw it. Then we will just try. You know, we will just do it, inshallah and hope it it, it 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 comes it comes to us. Uh, but uh, everybody could have loved. It. But look, I, I'm not gonna make excuses. Pep says they they're used to this, but. Uh, it's just sad. Maybe we might not see the stars we wanted to see uh, on uh, on Saturday play for City. It might be people. Uh, it might be players, young players like Oscar Bob, uh, players like uh, Nunes who need minutes, players like Kovacic who came on uh, later on, Doku who came on later on. So there's no excuse. We still have to play, you know. Uh, at, at the end of the day, Chelsea will, will tell me that. Oh, but our team also we've got youngsters so there's no excuse for you guys so it is what it is but it's just unfortunately that it's not going to be the strongest city side looking at the comments and looking how 
tired and fatigued they were. Uh, and but I it, think because based on uh, you guys, you guys watch Man City a lot, but based on what I'm, I'm, I'm kind of where I think Pep might think is Pep might be very careful because he doesn't want his player to get injured, and he will be care careful with his selection in terms of the way select players and how much because, minutes. Because he, 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 he because look at the end of the day, it's FA Cup, we respect mm -hmm. it. But we've got six finals, and I'm pretty sure if you were to choose one of the cups, I don't know about how I would be choosing the Premier League. Uh, the FA mm -hmm. Cup can go to whoever he wants it. I'm pretty sure Desperate United want it, so they can have it if they want. That's a hard, that, and, and Patrick, you were 100% correct. Mm -hmm. One, if I, I would even go as far as saying, you know what, just go the academy kids, the EDS, play them in the FA Cup. You know, take the piss out of the FA. Really take the piss out. Make, make it make it a terrible show. Put all those no, not even Oscar Bob and all these guys, all these guys on under the 18s, play them in the game. Pep can do you too. It's mad. It's really mad. take the piss. <laughs> they want you know, let, let your global audience switch off the TV because it doesn't make any sense. Let it happen. That's all we need to do. That's true. on a serious note. That's exactly what we need to do. And let Chelsea and United go to the final and do what they need to do, yeah. honestly. Mm -hmm. Because if, if they don't have a common sense to say, listen, you know, these English teams are our clubs, they are franchise, right? They, yeah. you know, them progressing in Europe helps our coefficient with the fit spot, makes sure they get more money, more representation, more globalism, more global fans for, for, for more, the Premier League. More TV right. If you don't think it's right to schedule and balance things properly to enable that to happen, when your competition is doing the same, then you're an idiot, Mr. Masters. You're an yeah. idiot. I agree. You're an idiot. It's insane. Mm -hmm. Wait, when Leo, last... Aston Villa versus Leo. The reason yes. Villa won that, that was because of Martinez in goal. That's the only reason why now. Yes. Because Leo scheduled the, the French league, canceled their game on the weekend or scheduled mm -hmm. it like maybe on a Friday or something, something like that. Like yeah. getting lots of time off to prepare for this competition because it means something to Ligue 1 to be in the next round, the coefficient. But the coefficient. But no, we let Aston Villa go and play Brighton or play someone and then go and play away in a game in Europe, two three days afterwards, mm -hmm. because we're the with the Premier League, we are special. That's false, awesome, man. Yeah, those people are see all of them are greedy bastards, and then it's, it's especially the most the, the English media. They are not the amount of time I block all of them. I just don't want to hear them speak because they get, they get me pissed off. Seriously, what the heck is going on? It, it really, it re when you, when you really, and maybe a lot of fans don't, maybe they don't think like this. Like, you know, I'm not trying to blow my horn or whatever it is, but. I, maybe it's my training, maybe it's my background, maybe it's just the way I think mm -hmm. I'm being, right? But I look at the very deep things of the game. Patrick knows me. Patrick, you know me, right? I'm a really nice guy. I mean, seem like a really horrible guy on, on Twitter. But I'm a really, really nice guy. I really I, care I, about, I really I care about the game. I care about people. I care about the game. Mm -hmm. When I see what's happening, and I'm a guy who's been in boardrooms of executives, top, top level. I mean, serious level, right? So I know how these guys think. This is planned and it is deliberate. They're too smart not to know the impact. They know exactly what they're doing. And it's greed and cynicism and wickedness. This is what it is. And while fans are laughing, one day it will be about you. Yeah. Watch the space. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Because majority of those people, they, they have their own fan base. They support and they like, especially those people that they are doing the schedules. They, they like yeah, they, let me ask you, Abdullah. Uh, mm -hmm. what, what, what what what's the situation on Kunku? I think he's back into a partial training. I don't I don't know if it is if it is among the people that travel to Wembley today. I have to check the full squad. I've seen the people that travel. I'm not sure if it's among them, but he's back into partial training. And I think based on what Paul said, Paul said it's all about day by day with him. We have to see how his body involved. Is he ready to play? We mm -hmm. have to wait and see. But I don't think for me. I won't even take him. I won't risk him right now. Just uh, allow him to recover very well because oh, I want him to be. In the oh, he's not fully fit. He's not fully fit. I will be surprised if he if he, if he is in the squad tomorrow. He will surprise me. I don't want him to be in the squad. I just want him to be. Am I? What about Raheem? Am I Raheem? Uh, what about Raheem? Raheem I see a lot of people saying Raheem should well. leave. Yeah, Raheem is fit. Yeah, he's part of the squad. He traveled to them. A lot of people he's say he should leave. They don't want him at Chelsea. My problem with Raheem is, is after Thiago Silva is the most experienced player in that team. And as an experienced player, I expect him to perform as an experienced player. But he has, he has, as much as his score goes forward this season, it's kind of let me down in some ways. Which I'm like, okay, right, what's going on with you here? I think most experienced player, Tatiago Silva. 
So maybe, maybe because of a new environment, new and because the team is young and everything, he hasn't involved very well. Maybe coming to the new season, we might see a different than him. We might, but that one I'm not confident about because yeah, but he's indeed turning 30. Yes, he's turning 30 very soon. So it's a little bit weird to me. The very kind of I'm up and down in terms of I'm not sure with the in that where's his mentality at? Because he's been booed a lot in Stanford Bridge a lot. So where's his mentality at? What is going on with him? How does he recover? This kind of stuff. Sometimes I'm like, okay, what's going on here? But I expect him to perform better because he's after Silva is the most experienced player in that team. Yeah, I'm, so which so which player do which, which which player do you see do you see performing in the FA Cup? Is it still Parma? Is everything I wanna, still on Parma? I wanna do I wanna quickly because I don't know if you guys are gonna we can we can do the uh, lineup preview where you guys can give a lineup. But my own lineup based on what I hear with Post said, Post is having a Dalai Ma with Enzo Fernandez because it, it, it was injured and he just came up from injury and he had a full training this week. Does he play with the lineup they played against Everton the same way or does he bring in Enzo? That's the big question Potentino will have to decide because the way you the, the way you guys are gonna play, and that depends on who is playing for you guys. Are you guys going to fall out or are you guys gonna win? Because with Pep, I might see rest some players because he might be thinking, okay. I have a Premier League match to play coming week. Am I taking a risk on this match to get injured? I don't want to get. I don't want my players to get injured. I have to be very, 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 very careful. So Pep might see it that way. He might see it that way. Or Pep might, might decide to say, okay, let me go full out here. We, maybe winning by two, three, zero. Rest uh, uh, let, 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 we, we can say, let, let's set up the Man City one. Carl, you want to help me on this one because okay. uh, I think it will be different. I think I'll. I think we'll see Ortega in, in goal, isn't it, uh, Carl? Ortega or Ederson? Yeah, it's Ortega, Ortega, I think. Ortega. It's going to be Ortega. Ortega. But so, Carl, how do, uh, I saw Ake training. Do you see Ake coming back? Uh, yeah, I think he would. I think, I think, you, I think, I think. But I think how do you set it up? Yeah. Because Josco was subbed from the Madrid game, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's going to be probably um, Walker Stones, Ake. Josco. Oh, so you'd play Walker even after the minutes he's played? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. Because the games so, that we have left, we don't really need Kyle until top now, really. If you think about it, right? And I, and I and there's an argument to say and I won't go into that right. Who plays now. next to 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 Stones? I'm doing Ake. Josko or Ake. Well, probably Nathan. Maybe Ake. Uh, hmm. Then uh, Josko here. Yeah. So, saying, so this doing... game you don't see Nico Lewis. No, 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 no. You can get bullied off the ball playing what right back. Against uh, what's that boy's that fast Ukrainian mm-hmm. boy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't, I'm not gonna cook now. I mean, we, we, we see demand to stop. So who this do you stuff. see here? Kovacic, Rodri now. Oh, Rodri. Oh, oh, Rodri plays, yes, now <laughs> Rodri plays. Okay. He rested before time with Madrid now, didn't he rest? Yes, he rested. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, what, ab- what about um, so do you put Nunes and uh, and Kovacic in the, this the, nine, the nine would be Alvarez. And that would be Alvarez. Hmm. Right? I think you're going to have Doku on the left. The you on the think left he, won't left. Play, he won't play Jack since he benched Jack early? Remember? He may. I mean, he may play. Actually, let's put Jack and Doku left and right. Yeah, because I think uh, he benched uh, he benched Jack early, remember? Yeah, Jack and then... And he, Jerry. even though he benched him, I think he was playing well. I think he should have... Do you know what, Carl? This is crazy. I think he should have dropped... Jack was hustling so much. I think he should have dropped Jack into midfield against Madrid I, I because he was you. hustling and he I was playing very well. I, I don't know you. why he... It's just I that I know he... Have, he I think he should, have, he should have taken... Put Jack into middle, take Bernardo out. Yes. I thought the same thing when I, when, when yeah. I saw the game. I was like, I think Jack should have... You know what? He should, he should have told Jack. He should have told Jack like what they used to tell at Villa. Go wherever you think you have to go. I think he could have caused issues. I think he could have. Somebody told me that they were happy Jack left. He says they thought they could have got cover her red card. He says Jack yeah. would have got cover yeah. her red card. Yeah. yeah. yeah I think no, no, Doku should Jack have got cover red card. Doku should have been the one, not Jack for me. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm Jack... saying Jack, because Jack is good at uh, getting fouls. He could have mm-hmm. got uh, cover her red card. But uh, I, what could have done is if he wanted, he should have switched Jack left and then put Doku right. And tell them to be switching, but Jack should have been dropped in the middle with Ford, and I think so because there, there, I think Jack no... had more legs, had more legs, yeah. and Jack can be creative. I think yeah. we, we could have caused trouble. It's just 
<sighs> this that man, I think he was looking at Silva. Same with Silva has destroyed Madrid before, but Silva was not no, having such a poor. great game. It was as poor. Yeah, it was it was poor, poor. Game. It was so poor. anyway, now who do you go into that midfield? <sighs> KDB has think, is having I think, issues. I think I think Foden has to play. He's Foden still down. plays. Yes, yes, yes. He has to play. He's young. He's 21, 22. He's twenty two. Twenty three. Yeah, he's young. And Who's then the next question now becomes over Sergio Nunes. A good cover change, maybe. Yeah, cover change. Yeah, cover change. But do you see him resting for the and do you still resting forward because Pep can do it? No, no, he's not. Reggie already had a rest. He had a rest for, for losing now. He, he, the only game he played was uh Madrid. Madrid now. Yeah. Interesting. This is a strong lineup. Is it this is uh, like I no, remember you, you, Stones comes in, not actually. I like that. I actually like this. Poverty, hmm, what do we for the four three one two? I like it. Ah, because what happens here is that you don't have to possess as much, yeah. Actually, you play can, in transition, you can play in transition, uh, right? uh, and then maybe uh, you're right, you can go like this, isn't it? I actually like just flat back four, don't put too much pressure on the defense. Yeah. It's 90 minutes, just play a four, a traditional mm -hmm. four, give them some possession. Wow. Oh, are you why are you resting Ruben Diaz? We, I mean, if he, I mean, for who for John? I don't know. It's just okay. It may, maybe John John will be fresh now because John came in at the end, didn't he? Yeah, yeah came John in will be fresh and Ake will be dying for me. Unless what, so. what you want to do is play Ake left back, take Josco out and play Diaz next to Stones. So just go out your house. Did Josco come out? Didn't Josco also come out? Was he tired or something? No, no, he's played. He should have taken the penalty of Bernardo. He was there. Yeah, just that. Yeah. I don't know. I see this as a strong team. This is good I enough. Think, I, I think it's good. That's a strong yeah. team. That's a very strong team. That's a very strong team. I think the front four will rotate in and out because Julian can drop into the midfield. Bolin can play the false nine. Doku and Jack can swap around. It's time for Jack to step up. It's time for him to to do his thing. He loves he loves Chelsea. Every time, remember, he's played Chelsea. He causes them trouble. Yeah, yeah. He loves I Chelsea. He, I have to rush, guys. I'm going to a game to watch a game. So, um, I would like thanks for having me on again. And then, no, for okay. those who are watching, right? I mean, I, all I say, I say it in love and I say it in truth. Right? It's about the game for me. Mm -hmm. It's I learned so much from all the teams because I coach. I'm learning from all the teams. I'm learning different systems, mm -hmm. what they're doing. And I'm seeing different things. And what's happening in the Premier League right now with the leadership is a shame. It's a shambles. What they're doing to Everton, what they're doing to Forest, it's a shambles. It's a shambles. Yeah. Place. Point deduction. FFP and bullshit. You know? And now they want to change the FFP rule because it doesn't suit them anymore. It's, I can go into this stuff many, many times. You know me up the live, but I got no, it wrong. Yeah. Patrick, no you no, have that I'm, 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 I'm like mine now. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not happy at all. But I anyway, know. it is what it is. It is, uh, well, it is what it is. I'm doing a lineup show anyway at four fifteen minutes. But if you don't have any games tomorrow, so you can see me there. I have three uh, games tomorrow uh, this weekend, but I'll try and dive well, into lineup if I can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't worry if you if you, you what. Uh, at the end of the day, like this 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 FA Cup. To be honest with you, I might as well go and do a watch along <laughs> because I don't even care about this FA Cup. To be honest. Well, you're gonna anyway, do a watch along. Interesting. I can I can do a first one and and if if I get time, I'll, I'll do a watch along and if, and uh, people can hear me curse. You know, uh, anyway, so thank All you very right, much, uh, man. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy yourself. So, hold up, up July, I'm, I'm just trying to load this and I can load for the Chelsea one. Okay, I'll send you the link. Okay, so okay. you let's look at I'll, I'll, I'll do that. But before that, let's we talk on the potential semi final matchup. How are you feeling? Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, Paris. Oh, you Germany. don't want to do the lineup for Chelsea? Okay, let's do the lineup. Yeah, have you sent it to me? Yeah, let me send it to you. Let me send it to you. I just sent you the, the issue is I don't know because Enzo Fernandez train. So I'm comf I'm in the middle with um with the with the midfield and the uh, defense also. So do you send it on, on WhatsApp or on Twitter? No, I'll send it in the private chat. Okay. There you go. You can the private it. chat. Let me see. Let me check. Wait, let me send it to you. Okay, private. Okay, I'm saying, I'm saying, okay. Line up. Okay. Let me. Oh, okay, good. Thank you. Let me do the lineup. What I'm a little bit worried is the defense and the midfield. 
So I don't know what Poch, Poch is a weird man. So we're gonna go with the four two three one formation. So four two three one formation. So for me, Petrovic and go. Petrovic. Petrovic. Petrovic and go. Petrovic and go. Then now I'm having a problem with the defense because um Desassi is back from injury. So Oh, my bad. And he had a great game against City. Yeah. So Petrovic, two, four, two, three. As a goalkeeper. Okay. So Petrovic and go. Now my problem is with my center back. One is you're, you're, you're making a mistake. Take him back. Take Petrovic back. You're making a mistake. Okay. I'm go back. Mistake. You have made a mistake. Wait, wait, wait. Let me go back. Uh, just just search a random player. Just search Raheem or whatever first. Okay. Because what what you have done is you have made a mistake. You've taken the striker. You put you clicked the striker first. Ah, okay. Yeah. So. Let me do. Let me just here. Okay. So. Okay. So so look. Uh, bring Petrovic back as as the striker. Okay. Yeah, you're doing it backwards. That's backwards. Oh, that's the back. Clear. Yeah, so put put Petrovic yeah. there, and then you can uh, you can edit it. You can you can X him. Put him again. Move it in front again. In the front, okay. In yeah. the front here. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. In front. Move him in front. Continue moving him in front. Leave him there. Yeah. And then X and put a striker there. That's your striker. Oh, this one here is a striker. That no, that one is your keeper. Okay, where I put Petrovic is the, is the keeper, right? That's a striker. Okay. So, so uh, that's your defender. That's your back line. That's your back four. Look at that. That's your back four. It's like upside down to my own. It's like it's like upside down to me right now. That's what I'm yeah, saying. yeah, yeah, yeah. But but Petrovic, <laughs> remove uh, like X. Go an X on him. Go to Petrovic X, and then put a striker there. Put whatever okay. striker you play. It's a striker there, you okay. get my point. Yeah, it's a striker there. Yeah. Jackson. Hello, hello uh jerry in the comments how are you doing this how, how, how are you doing okay. you how are you doing uh big uh uk how are you doing fb how, how are you so doing my friend, everybody in the comments brush how are you doing big up to all of you guys how are you doing adam how are you doing uh everybody in the comments brian you know, how you doing? To you guys you guys. i hope you guys are doing fine like the big like the video subscribe to the channel smash the like button guys yeah. the like so, button. so 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 uh, um uh, my, my left wing uh I'm, because of the form, I'm gonna do because of form. I'm gonna stick with Modric because of form. I'm gonna stick with Modric because of form because he's been in form. So I'm gonna stick with him just because of form. So let me go to um, Modric. Uh, Modric. So. Because of form, I think Poch Poch my rest Enzo. Yeah. So, now now you can you now you can remove. Madrid, yeah. yeah, but but why are you doing uh, Jalai, why are you giving yourself stress? Wait. Modric. I wanna, oh yeah, yeah, I don't know. What, 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 how are you looking at this screen? Like Modric, can you remove can you X him? X leave him there, leave him there. Leave Modric there and just X the place X. Okay. Now, now you are yeah, in trouble. Now you have to uh, no. put a defender there. Put a defender. Let me go back again. This this kind of uh, no no. Put a defender and just set it back. Okay, put a defender yeah, and put, uh, put him back in defense. Okay, silver. Silver. Tiago Silva. Isn't it TH? Is it TH or TH? I think it's TH. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And, and then put him back in defense. In defense. I'll put him back in defense. 
<laughs> they are making fun of you in the comments. They're like, this is how Poch sets out the team. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm not Poch. Poch is such annoying. Yeah, start with the difference first. I think that would okay. be fair. Uh, I will start. Can I, am I told? Because I don't know if Alan is playing tomorrow. So I'll probably yeah. stay with. Haaland is not playing. I don't think Haaland is playing. I don't think yeah. so. So I'll play with Chaluba. I'll, I'll stick with Chaluba. I know this has but I'll stick with Chaluba. Mm -hmm. I'll stick with Chaluba, then... Bring back your keeper at the back. Yes, I'll put it back here. So, no, no. yeah. Okay, I'll there you go. There. Okay. What has happened to Sanchez? He's been, he's, he's been carrying injuries upon injury, and that guy is a, he's a, he's not even good enough, and he's been injured. I need to it. You need to sell that bastard, man. I don't know why you're going to sell that bastard. He goes to. Yeah, he is. You got it right. He is just at the bottom. Just check at the bottom. You got it right. My little goose girl. Okay, that's him. Then, yeah. I think I'm going to start with Kokorella. Mm. Kokorella. I will put you all at the back first. This is my dilemma. Do I play Enzo Fernandez and the Caicedo or Moise Caicedo? Ah. Based on what the port I know because of his affiliation with um, Fernandez, he might play him. But I also think, okay, let me let me just keep it like that. Um, Caicedo, Moise Caicedo, and Galaga. Galaga. On Adalaga. So then on the left here, I play Mudrik. On the in the middle, I play Palmer. Cold, 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 cold Palmer. Then I, yeah, I play Nani. I'll keep the same lineup mm. as the Everton one. If something is working, I don't want to change it. I'll bring Gazo Fernandez from the bench. Because I don't think Port will take a risk on him. He's injured, he just came in back. Yeah, yeah, he says Doc will cook Kukurela for the will cook Kaiseido, Rodri will cook Palmer. So this is my lineup. Okay. This is a this is a full blood on lineup. This is my lineup. Okay, so that's the lineup. Yeah. That's, that's not a bad team. That's such a strong team. Yeah, but I don't know if we're gonna. Are we gonna? Uh, my, my fear is: Are we playing in transition? Or are we? Are we? Are we going defensively? I think they're gonna go in transition, or maybe you go defensively. Maybe you do the Madrid Arsenal behavior and get it to the penalties, or get it to try to sneak a, a goal. You know what I mean? If you if you're gonna play in transition, I'm gonna need Enzo to play because of his passing. Mm. Because of his passing, man. That's my fear because of this passing. But again, he just came back from injury, and and, and the, the protection I know doesn't like taking, doesn't like risking players coming back from injury. Uh. Yes, he doesn't like to do it. He would rather put them on the bench and bring them on. He does not like risking players because of injuries. He's been very careful with injuries. Abdul, looking at this lineup now, you're gonna keep the same lineup, or you're gonna you're gonna bring the Abdul, are you there? Yeah, I, I, I'd love big up, man. Um, Looking at I've got, a, I've got I've got a background noise, so I can't talk now. Is my background noise loud? Or it's, it's loud. Yeah, it's loud. It's loud. Can you talk? Yeah, I can talk now. Yeah. Can you talk now a little bit? Okay. Yeah, I think he's down now. No, no, Abdul. I have to. I have to say goodbye. All right, all right, yeah. yeah, I don't. Thank you're, you're you very much. Your prediction for tomorrow. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I I have I have no prediction because I, I I can only predict when I see the lineup, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why I did not even do a preview. I'm waiting for the lineup to come out, and I'll do a show why the lineup is out. I didn't want to do it because I'm I'm not sure, you know. But I don't know, man. I think Chelsea have the opportunity here, you know, because they're rested, and if they take advantage of uh, a fatigued city, I think they have got the advantage. I don't know. I'm just looking at uh, this game and thinking it might actually end up Chelsea winning 2-1, you know, and uh, I don't want to go to extra time because we play Arsenal on Tuesday. I don't want to do this. We, we play Arsenal on Tuesday, so I want to be careful. Uh, okay, so you play Arsenal on Tuesday? 
Yes, we play in the red. Oh, so you, so, so you, what? Well, Pochettino, but Pochettino wants to win a trophy, doesn't he? Uh, I don't. They, Tomorrow match or is that, or, or does he want to win the Tuesday match? Is it that I want, I want him, I want I want I want to win the Africa, but I want him to win as a as a fan. But again, I'm also looking at the Premier League. You have to manage players, which is very key. Mm. Mm -hmm. Basically, basically, Palmer gets injured. That's the end of your season, isn't it? Adios, game over. Yeah, and I don't want that hey, to happen. Hey, hey, man, I'll, I'll see you if you're no around. I'll, I'll send you a link before no the problem. game. You know, no worries, no worries. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, guys. Subscribe no to Abdullah's yeah, channel. Right, we are, we are working on the new likes. channel, which will be ready very soon. Please subscribe, bro. Yeah, I'll okay. just leave my link. I don't know if it goes continues when I leave, so I'll just yeah, leave. Don't worry, we'll continue when you leave. Don't worry. Once I hand um, end it, it's gonna end your place too. No worries. So, Abdullah, are you there? I think I've been muted. I think he's having a bag. For me, two seconds from one. Oh, okay. I think he's having a bag for me. But for me, for me, I'll keep this lineup for me because this lineup has, has done very well. I think it's, 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 it is a lineup we used in the in the Everton match, which we won very well. So I think, based on what I know, you might want to be careful. Uh, I think. For me, I will not. I I will not risk Enzo. I'll put him on the bench and I'll bring him on in the second half. For me, yeah. For me, I'll put. I'll I'll literally just. Ah, uh, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry uh, relax, relax. See, I know, I know, I know. City has been. I get knocked out, but I'm a little bit worried with you guys because you guys have decided to just turn up against us and dismantle us. So it's a little bit worried for me. Very, very worried. This team is young. So are they going to get a beat, in, a beat down? Uh, are you going to get a beat down? Mm. Oh, are we, are we going to see a different Chelsea? I'm a little bit worried for tomorrow, but in, in, my, in my heart, it, it, in my head, it um, somehow beat confidence and somehow and somehow like, hey, Chineke, I don't want to get him. I don't want to. I want to be very, very, very careful. So it's, it's annoying. It's very annoying. It's very, very annoying. So if you can take advantage of cities, of cities, um, what's called? of city's tiredness i'll be happy but this team is full of mistakes so will this surprise me if we, if we make mistake it won't surprise me it won't surprise me so i want us to play on i want us to play on our uh, i want us to play our a game but it won't surprise me because this team is full of mistake man we have a lot of players that is that that are mistake prone so like disaster we make mistakes so lord have mercy Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. But I just want also to put a performance out tomorrow that as a fan base I can be proud of. So that's what I want I want the I want the team to do. I want the performance I can be proud of. So yeah, I'm delighted. super tough. So yeah, it's better. So okay. your quick take on the looking at the lineup now. Are you gonna do, are you gonna keep the same lineup with the Everton or are you bring in Enzo Fernandez? No, 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 no. I'll, I'll keep this line up. This, this one you've made. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I was actually making up the lineup with somebody this earlier today. Mm -hmm. And um, this is what I'll go with. The only thing is um, um, Chaluba. Oh, you're going to play this, Asi? <sighs> Man. Alan is not playing tomorrow because he's injured. So Pep doesn't want to risk him. How about this? Yeah. Play? I might play the Sassy because he's more experienced. But he's prone to make him mistake. That's my fear. Uh, it depends on who's playing next to him. He doesn't really make Thiago Silva, much yeah, mistake. Silva, Silva next to him. Yeah, yeah. If he's playing next to Thiago Silva, I think he'll be more calmer. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, I, 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 I
So, but are you play? Are you starting Sterling or you put him on the bench and you, or you you start with Mikaela Modric? No, 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 no. This, this, this is what I want to do. The, 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 so what me I would do is not oh, what I'm hoping for. I I know for sure it's different from what Poch is gonna do. Mm -hmm. Poch is gonna do something stupid tomorrow that is gonna make us lose. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But if I'm if I'm to set up this team, mm -hmm. I'm going to set it up like this. So if you can see what you've done here, Modric is playing to the to the right of Jackson, and Noni is playing to the left. No. No, no, but the, the, I'm saying how your how your setup looks like. Okay. Okay. How your setup looks like is Modric is to the to the right of Jackson, and Nordic is to the left of Jackson. To me, that is how I. Would, so it's going to be Nordic on the left, and um, Modric on the on no, the no, no. Modric on the left, Nordic on the right. Who oh, oh, the right? I, I I know what oh, you okay, mean. Okay, I get you. But I am saying this is not how you've put it down. Okay. Okay. And how you've put it down is Modric to the right and Noni to the left. Mm -hmm. And that is how me, I will put it down. Because I would rather use direct wingers. Okay. Because all they have to do is to run directly at their full backs, which yeah. will help us to stretch Man City. Mm -hmm. especially when you have Cole Palmer behind Jackson. So yeah. when they run down, when Modric runs down the right or Noni runs down the left, all they have to worry about is once they get to the byline to either cross or do a cutback because they're going to have two players in the box at that time. You get it? Mm -hmm. And then they'll be able to stretch Man City because the only reason why you use inverted wingers is so that if they want to score goals, it's going to be easy for them. But I'm not expecting them to score goals tomorrow. I just want them to stretch City so that City cannot attack us. Because City has just played 120 minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. And they are going to play in Wembley. Yeah. So I'm going to want to stretch them, especially because Wembley is a very, very, very uh, big stadium, it, very wide. Yeah, it is a wider pitch. So I'm going to stretch them so much that the the wing backs would not be able to. I mean, the full backs would not be able to come forward. And you know, our full backs like to um, go forward, um, overlap as well. Yes. Are you so, taking advantage of the of Man City eye line, or you're gonna have like? That, that, that's what I mean. So if we put direct wingers, mm -hmm. they cannot play a high line because who is their who is their, um, who is their um, left back? Uh, I can't, uh, either it might be Nathan Ake or Gavardio. Oh, oh, okay. Imagine Modric just running, just running towards Ake or Gavardio. They won't be able to come play a high line. Because Modric is very fast. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there will be no break in Modric's run because he doesn't have to cut back because he's not an inverted winger. Jerry, I think the no. best thing we can do is play on, play on transition where we keep we, we give you guys the ball and we play on the counter. And I think that's the best part of Argentina. What's he saying? You need to he get the ball. You need to get the ball of us before you can stretch us. You don't need to get the ball the way. You just have to like. No, no, but, 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 but they're not going to have the ball for 90 minutes. Are they? Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. that, that's how Madrid punished them in the first half. Mm -hmm. Somebody hoofed the ball. Hoofed the ball. Play <laughs> the ball. Hoof the ball. Hey, Hoof no, no. The, the way Madrid scored, somebody hoofed the ball. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bellingham brought the ball down and made a pass. And somebody else made a pass to Vinny. Mm -hmm. And Vinny was on the right. Yeah. Okay. If Vinny was on the left, he wouldn't have been, he wouldn't have been able to make that, uh, uh, pull that ball, ball back. He will have to yeah. cut back with the ball mm -hmm. and city defense will be able to set but because he was playing direct he just went down the line you get it he just yeah. went down the line and just crossed so you, you could see the what what i'm saying yeah that will cause city a problem because they don't have to cut back they just nothing stops them from if you look at how madrid scored 
that guy just run ran down and then mm -hmm. just caught the ball back. Belly down, belly down, belly down, belly down. Exactly. So that's that. Because when so he was the, then the, on the, the, the left wing, then he switched back to the right wing. Then but he go to the it, left. It, exactly, exactly. So that's the benefit of using a direct winger. Yeah. They don't have to cut back and set. Mm -hmm. Okay. They just keep running with the ball to the byline. And for me, as long as Obama has the ball for me, I trust him more to have a better decision making. Exactly. So that's that's the benefit because you will have someone like Obama arriving at the box, mm -hmm. and Obama we know he's tactically smart. Yeah. You know, and you know when like Jackson can cause trouble as well because he's very fast. Yeah, this is, is that's my fear. But Madrid had like five six off of the ball in behind. You must capital. You must capitalize. Yes, we have to. Madrid, we have to Madrid had what? But Madrid yeah, they hoofed like the ball five or six times. That's what they're saying. No, 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 no. The, the first time they hoofed the ball, that's when they went to score. Maybe they hoofed the ball many times after that because mm -hmm. they realized it worked. But before before they scored the goal, they went hoofing the ball. They were just passing and moving, mm -hmm. and then they hoofed the ball once. And so it the way, we, but the way we play them in the Premier League, do we did not have the ball. We were very defensive. But what what kind of draws that match is our lack of concentration. And that was what killed us. No, 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 no. In the in the one we played in Stamford Bridge, we didn't defend. We didn't defend. Yes, we but when we played at home, we at home we didn't with them. Defend. Against yeah, them, we defended. Yeah, we were playing away. They were playing home. Yes. So you see, we, we don't we you don't make that kind of mistake with City. Don't give them the ball and just go and defend. Mm -hmm. They were just, to be honest, they were just unlucky against Madrid. Yeah. I mean, they hit, they hit the ball, they the post ball, ones. Yeah. They had a few missed chances. Normally, they would have scored. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, you are taking a risk if you do that. Maybe if you have Madrid, you can do that. But I wouldn't suggest you do that if you're in Chelsea. Don't try and like. It's better you are hoofing the ball and making them run back once in a while. But if I don't know the ball, if you have someone like Victor Osimena, you can move the ball to Osimena. That's better. Are you going to move the ball? But to don't, that? But, 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 no, 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 no. You're getting you're getting distracted with what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Osimena is not at Chelsea tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Look at those those guys you've put put up front. Those guys have pace. Jackson yes. can run, except you want to be, you know, unfair to him. He can chase. Team. He can chase and he can run. Mm -hmm. And if you're a defender, you're not just gonna look at Jackson run and chase. You're gonna run after him. Okay. You're not gonna look at Audrey just run. You're gonna run after him. So if you're running this, the opposite direction, that will stretch. That that will stretch them a bit for 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 us. Mm -hmm. Because if we don't stretch them tomorrow and you allow them to be compact and okay. start making all these short short intricate passes, well, you're in trouble. You, you, you but that's my fear. Does this start with Enzo or does it bench him? That's gonna be the catalyst no, for me. No, 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 I'm not starting with Enzo. What, what's Enzo gonna do tomorrow? No? I, I thought he had like a problem. Like he, yes, he's back in just he's back in it. He, 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 he think full with this week. Is it the squad? Is among the squad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, that, that, that that's that, that's what I mean. Like what me I would do is different. I know Poch is gonna do something stupid and it's gonna, gonna like try to play some formation that is not going to make sense whatever it is tomorrow will show me if he wants to win that game tomorrow or not no but, but he has to win yes for me he has to if, win if, that if, game. if he doesn't win we don't go through but yes. i know he's not gonna they're probably not gonna win you know because we're a top 10 side and we're playing against we, we have the advantage because of um the scenario or the conditions we're playing them tomorrow Oh, they're gonna be tired. They've played one twenty. They're gonna be mentally down and all this mm -hmm. stuff. Playing at a neutral ground and Wembley. So, mm -hmm. if you look at all the conditions, it seems like we have advantage over them. Yeah. But I don't think that advantage is gonna show. I think my, my only confidence is against them because of the way they play, Ireland they play. We're gonna have our chances. My fear is: Are we clinical enough to take it? That's my fear. We have to be clinical. If we want to be city tomorrow. You have to be clean because we're gonna have our chances. We'll have chances. We have to be very, okay. Okay. Very okay. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, I'll apply. Did you see my my stats on Twitter? Okay. 
-hmm. This year, we've played like 19 games. Yeah. And in 13 out of those 19 games, we've scored two or more goals. Hmm. So scoring goals is not our problem. It's about defending. It's the mistakes we're making in the defense. Individual mistakes, yes. Hmm. The mistakes we're making in defense that is causing a lot of our goals. So we're going to create chances tomorrow. Yes, I agree. Okay, we're going to create chances tomorrow. That I know. Are we going to take those chances? I don't know. Okay. Are we going to score? I don't know. But we're going to create chances tomorrow. We will. I'm sure that's Man City. Is Man City going to score? They're likely going to be. They're likely going to score. Yeah. Because teams always score against us. Mm. Okay. So, but it depends on how how ruthless and aggressive we are. I think if we score first, we have a chance of demoralizing City and making them and frustrating them. I think that's that's gonna be the catalyst. How do I how do we demoralize them? How do we frustrate them? Yeah, that that would be that would be a good way to demoralize. And I think Porsche will be. I know, and I think Porsche will watch the will watch the Madrid match and he watch the Arsenal match. How defensive uh, those teams were against City, and I will tell this player, I want you guys to be this very defensive against them. When you have your chances, take your chances. It's all about moments. It's all about moments. When it comes to tournament match and especially the FA Cup, it's all about moments. Once you have your moment, take your moment. Take it. Take it. Well, I believe the what do you call it? The the conditions are favorable mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. But it's something in the back of my mind was telling me, you know, Porch is gonna screw it up in a way. Uh I don't it's want to start, because it's probably gonna start somebody he's not supposed to start, or it's gonna play some funny formation. We're not supposed to. I would love him to see this formation against Everton. I like it, but Poch is a madman, so that's my only thing. He's a madman, and I see. Yeah, that's, I really, that's I, do, I really want to win the FA Cup tomorrow because of we need to be in Europe. It's an Europa League competition. When you win it, automatically you go to the Europa League um, quite, quite, um, group stage because now it's gonna be four teams for England. No England. No, 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 no. But, but, but but the thing the thing is right. I want us to win it because it's good for the team's development. Yes. Because I heard something today, but I haven't really verified it. Okay. That they are, they are trying to, inv they've invited Chelsea, or maybe they're trying to invite Chelsea to some club competition. No, club is for month. next year. Chelsea is among. It's for next year. We are among them. It's 12 teams. What, what do you mean? What, what do you mean next if year? If club World Cup, you know the competition they play, when you win the Champions League, you automatically go to the club World Cup. So this is a club World Cup. is for them. They are doing it. So right. so when when what, what year is that? We're gonna play it next year in June, July. Next year, as in 2025. Yes, sir. 2025 in June, July. June, July. Okay. Yes. And they said that competition. I haven't verified, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. But they said that competition um, is gonna earn us 50 million. No, I think when you win, if you win it, 100 million participation. No, 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 no. Participation. 50 million. 50 yeah. million. Yes. Exactly. So, <laughs> so we're not going to turn that down, are we? You know, we're among them already. 12 teams, teams qualify. No Arsenal, exactly. no Liverpool. Chelsea, exactly. only Chelsea and only Man City are the only two teams that are there in English League. So, what I'm trying to say, Abdullah, is what I'm trying to say is, okay, I don't really care maybe we'll play in Europe next season or not. You know why I'm saying that? Mm -hmm. Because our players, a lot of our players will have plenty of football to play between yeah. this year Okay, between now and next year, you know why? Mm -hmm. Because some of our players will play in the Euros, mm -hmm. some of our players will play in Copa America, mm -hmm. some might even play in the Olympics. Okay, so a lot of them are going to have a very, very short summer. Okay, yeah, a, a lot, a lot of, and and um, we're going to have a long season after that. There's yeah. a lot of enough competition for both to play. After that, okay, and some some are even going to play in Afcon at some point next year. Mm -hmm. So between now and next year, our players are going to play a lot of football. Yeah, 
So I'm not really bothered if we miss Europe or not next season. The thing is, I just want us to develop as a team. And because of the players, the, the, the category, um, because of the inexperience in a lot of our players, I want I I um I want them to go through the process of playing in a, in a FA Cup semi-final against a tough team like City and maybe getting into the final of another tournament. Because I was hearing saying um the last final we played against Liverpool, some of our players couldn't even sleep properly. Yes. Okay. And, and obviously, this is due to inexperience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. So that's mainly why I want us to go through these experiences. I'm not looking at say, at Europe or whatever mm -hmm. because these kids will have a lot of football to play. And I, they have changed the FA yeah. Cup rules also. FA Cup no more you will play. It's gonna be straight straight to um, 90 minutes penalties or extra time game over. No more replays. Yeah, because but because, there's, because there's there's a lot of football coming. Yeah, because of now. the expansion of Champions League, the expansion Champions exactly, League. exactly. So there's a lot of football. Yeah. So you can't say you know all these play replay play replay replay play. You know it's going to be difficult for the players. You know, so I'm not even worried about Europe, whatever. I think the way we've performed this season, <laughs> if we get anywhere close to Europe next season, then that's actually. A bonus it is a bonus yeah. because we've not really played we've not been great really yeah but i want it to be as a team we've not been that great yeah you know as a team so um but mm -hmm. you know um, um i just wanted to do well but mm -hmm. i've got a feeling you know the, the I, I, I won't be surprised if they don't go through i'm really i'm expecting a lose Mm -hmm. lost but tomorrow's, but tomorrow's match now how confident are you for tomorrow's match I'm, I'm not confident i'm just looking forward to the performance you know there's a different ways you can lose a game you can lose a game with no effort where they just run all over you mm -hmm. you know where it, 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 you know you play the, you play the game it will be insignificant it's like to it be so obvious they will, you know some kind of lazy performance Yep. I'm just looking forward to the performance so that even if we lose, which I'm expecting, I want the performance to be like high level, like very good performance. Mm -hmm. That's that's all I'm looking for. That's all I'm hoping. But yeah. I'm not I'm not confident we're gonna win. And if by any chance we win, to me it's just like a bonus, like okay, we we're lucky to win. You know, football happens. But if you put everything, you know. Put, put everything <laughs> you know on the table we're up for a lose for a loss and um and i also think because of Manchester played under 20 minutes on wednesday with extra time and penalties there's gonna be a lot of fatigue in there are they gonna be sharp enough i don't know yeah we, so we, we're so, gonna be sharp because we already have a lot of rest we're gonna be sharp no but i've seen we've seen this like so many times where our play our team performs so well and then we think they're gonna like continue like that mm -hmm. and then the full the, the follow-up game they play so rubbish you know what i mean like mm -hmm. the follow-up game they just don't perform and you're disappointed you know are we going to have a follow-up game where at least they should be able to run yeah, you know what I mean. At least yeah. you should be able to run against people who've just played 120 minutes, I agree. and who has like you know, you've had like you know 24 hours of rest advantage over them. You should be able, and at least you should be able to run more than them, yeah, and put in more effort than them. That's what I'm expecting. But you know the way this guy does sometimes, they might start you know trying to play from the back. And make you know, like the way we went to my United and played, mm -hmm. where they were trying to but, play from the back. We were we playing United and we were very sharp, we were very, very sharp. That, that's that's what I mean. And even before we went to Old Trafford, we played a game before then, and I think we were yeah. very good at that game. Yeah, and then we went to Old Trafford, and then they, you know, they were very lethargic, they wanted to make 400 passes, 
at the defense, and we were losing the game, and our keeper was making save upon save. And yes, they were keeper in the, had to, yeah, had to save a penalty. In the first 20 minutes, the guy made like six saves, including the penalty. Mm -hmm. And you know I need Petrovic to have his A game tomorrow. If you're not, if you're not going to go and lose that tomorrow, he must yeah, not be I tomorrow. Still, to to me, that. I still, if I'm going to be honest, I still believe um, Sanchez is better than him in terms of making a save. Uh, that, that's my belief. In terms of making a save, I know Petrovic is better than him when it comes to uh, kicking the ball or playing from his feet. But that's not the role of a keeper, isn't it? The role of a keeper is to make saves. Mm -hmm. well, I think I'm Sanchez is better. I'm going to give him a new way. I'm going to give him a new way. So. Yeah, that's because you like him. You know, which is acceptable if you like his style. Uh, but I've never really seen Petrovic make a save that could have cost us a goal. And I've seen Sanchez make a lot of them kind of saves. You know, so... But I know Port is going to go with Petrovic, so yeah. it's one of those things Port just does, man. I can, you can sometimes you can't. Sanchez is not is not really fit for tomorrow. So I don't think we'll be in this squad. I don't know. I don't know why he's on the bench. Or why we just line up now. You see, you are, yeah, because I don't expect him to start tomorrow. Neo, I don't expect him to start. He just came up from injury. Yeah. I expect him to come from the bench. How many minutes? It depends on Port. Does he play in 65, 70 minutes? When does he play? It depends on Port. It depends on point. When does it when does it play Enzo? Because I have a feeling in my bench in tomorrow, which I want. Bench in my, in my bench Enzo tomorrow and play the uh what's called the original lineup he played against Everton. And that is what that is what me I want. What I want. Yeah, he's gonna do something like that because it's not, it's, what it's not his my belief is what is winning, what you are, you are winning about something. Keep the same and that line up if you are winning. That make it that make you consistent as a manager. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I know, I, I know what you mean. But he's not going to, he's not going to start. I'm almost certain he's not going to start Cole Palmer as a number ten. So you think my player is the right way? He's going. That's what Poch is going to do. Even that day against Everton, didn't he push him to number ten at the end towards the end? No, he was playing as a number ten. Now Joko was playing on the right wing. I, I know, but later in the game, he pushed it to the right. When he yeah, brought in... He uh, was, was, yes. No, no, no. When he brought in Kani. Mm. When he brought in Kani, he pushed Port, he pushed uh, Kodbama to the right. So, I know... Uh, you see, that's one stupid thing this guy might do again tomorrow. He might start Kani. And that's not a game for Kani to start. Mm -hmm. So sometimes this point is difficult to predict, and sometimes you can't really explain why he's doing what he's doing. So that's why a lot of Chelsea fans get sort of like frustrated sometimes because he yeah. can't really say, you know, this is what the end game or the end goal is. So I don't know what this guy's gonna do, man. We will see. I see. Your quick take on Arsenal and City out of the match, I think. <laughs> Um, I was the expecting, I was so kind of expecting, I was kind of expecting the Arsenal to go out because to go out here yeah, because um, 2 2 at home. I don't know how they wanted to do it against Bayern. I'm actually shocked actually Bayern only scored one goal. Mm -hmm. So mm, I was kind of expecting that. But I knew like City against Real Madrid. He could swing both ways because, uh, or swing either way because um, I've always noticed that when Madrid are playing City, at least maybe for like two seasons now, or yeah. so, their are, are, are midfield is weaker than that of City. Yeah. So most of the times it depends on how how solid their defense is. So. That's what I, I, I knew it's not going to be easy for Madrid on that day. So, but luckily enough, um, their defense was lucky that day. I wouldn't say they were great, they were more or less like lucky because mm -hmm. City would have scored more than one goal. Their defense was lucky that day, yes. mm -hmm. and they still defended well, they defended very well. 
But the point is like the midfield is weak. So most of the time, the country, uh, they have less possession against City's midfield. And that's where they get a lot of trouble. But even with that, there was a lot of players I didn't see that day. I didn't see Foden. I mean, it took me like 20 minutes into the game before I realized Foden was even playing. Yeah, it was isolated. Exactly. Greedy, Grealish, I don't really trust Grealish. Um, mm -hmm. it's, not that, it's not on that level. Kevin De Bruyne was unlucky. Yeah, he scored a goal. And, the, and that, chance, that chance he missed. Oh my days. Yeah, yeah. That chance. Kevin, I felt like Kevin should be scoring that. Aye, that chance. Yeah. And then, to be honest, I didn't see Rodri that day. Mm -hmm. I didn't see. So it seems to me like maybe they were conscious of Madrid as well. That yeah, they are very close. Because, exactly, because you know, anytime Madrid has the ball, something might happen. So I think they had that, you know, at the back of their minds. Mm -hmm. So it didn't just allow them to just go for it a thousand percent. But um, it was a good game to watch. I just reminded people that, you know, if you think football has evolved, then you don't know what you're talking about. Because Madrid gave like a masterclass on how to defend that day. Against, against they, yeah. and they, they defended with all their life. That's why they even had a lot. They, yeah. had, they defended with all and their life. City, city were frustrated. They were very frustrated. They frustrated City with a defensive game. You will even forget it was Madrid that was playing that day. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I didn't realize Madrid could defend the way they defended that day. Yeah. But they said they were, they were just not commanding much against Man City. That was the template of how to defend City. Ah. Yeah. They said they were just not commanding much. That was the template on how to defend City. Maybe they watched that just to motivate themselves. But they've been playing City now, like for this is the the third third time in a row, yes. third year in a row. So yeah. they know what City are. You know, they don't need any video to tell them what Manchester City is. Mm -hmm. You know, so they were ready that you know they were not going to lose. So they 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 play, they defended with all their might that day, and. You know, if they can defend like that, okay, mm -hmm. for the rest of the Champions League, and you know, for the rest of the Champions League, they're not going to play a city. You know, it's okay. not everything that is Man City. And, and that's you know, the, 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 the semi final is very tantalizing. PS, um, Paris Saint Germain versus Dortmund and Bayern Munich versus Madrid. So there you go. What a match! What a match! Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich doesn't have the threat Man City has. Yes, okay? and, if they can, and if they can defend like they defended against Man City, mm -hmm. then it will be an easy, easy tie for them. Yeah, the two, the two ties will be two easy games for them to get to the final. Yeah, but the issue with it, you are playing against a man who has a very good record in Champions League, which is too tough. So, do I? Am I? Are you going to bank on Tukano to do well in the UCL? No, because he's a, he's a cup manager. So that's me. Yeah, but Tuchel is it's another madman, man. Yeah. He's but a I mean, cup manager. So he's, he's another madman. So, but I just don't see how how they can overcome Real Madrid. It's going because to be difficult. As as Luna, because, because, sorry, Bayern. Bayern cannot defend the way Real Madrid defended against City. I agree. They cannot defend like that. I agree. Okay. So if they can just defend like that, okay, and they are going to play against a Bayern that is not as strong as City, mm -hmm. then they can they can they can withstand City so easily. I don't see how. I don't. They can they can withstand Bayern so easy. I don't see how Bayern can overcome them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know how Bayern can overcome them because it's going to be so hard. And we all know the potency they have going forward. 
and then those guys, mm-hmm. those kids, somebody was saying, I don't know if it was the game or somewhere, that actually Real Madrid took a, 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 a gamble on Vinny Juno and Rodrigo. Yes. But those guys have paid off, man. Yeah, those, those guys, guys have paid off in terms of the football they're delivering. See. Vinny Junior is not playing like the Vinny of like two, two or three. Well, the Rodrigo has stepped up a lot. Imagine, I mean, imagine that, team, that team with Mbappe and Afonso Davis. Those guys, you know, those guys are playing like um, they are now playing like senior professionals. Yeah, they are playing like they are 26, 27, 28, and yes. they are only 22, 23. Imagine adding Mbappe yeah. to 25, and, and then you go and oh my god, man. you're gonna buy Mbappe 25, Afonso Davis 20. To the team, I ah, I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't even want to see that team, man. That, I mean, that's a, that's a galactic costume. Oh my god, how do you, how do you give, how do you add it, a player like a baby to that kind of forward line? I do, I do. If my doesn't, if my doesn't win the league by twenty-seven points tomorrow and next next season, and so let him to get fired. No, if they don't win that league, because imagine if they don't win the Champions League this year. I think with Mbappe coming, they will, they will dominate next season in the championship because not, teams will be afraid to play them because of the attack. See, see, see. Because teams will know, oh my God, we are playing Madrid. Mbappe, Rodrigo, Vini, we are done. He's out of, we are done out of here. He's done. Exactly. Because those players can score goals. They can score. Is it score goals? Or that means if you add Mbappe, that means. Madrid has three players who can make a goal for themselves and yeah. score it. Yeah. How how do you survive a team that has three players that can make goals for themselves? Just put to God, luck is on your side, baby. Those and guys can good. make they can make goals for they can create goals and they can score goals. Yeah. And you and you have three of them on the pitch. And I do. And and I that's trouble. How are you going to handle? Davis on the left. Sorry. I said Davis on the left. Yeah, Afonso Davis on left. It's, it's about time because I don't really rate, rate Mendy. Or what's his name? Yeah, Bella Mendy. Uh, yeah, I don't really rate him. Not that he's not a good player, but for Madrid level, I don't mm-hmm. I don't rate him. And you know another player I'm really impressed with that has really grown? Kamavinga. Oh, I don't Kamavinga, yes. That guy is ready to own a shirt yes, in the midfield good. of Madrid. Okay, that kid with his tiny legs is everywhere on the midfield. On the midfield, yeah. And he knows how to receive the ball. He knows how to pass the ball. He knows how to make. I just don't know, man. Like these guys, do they train with robots or what? Or AI? You, are, you what? know, when you are playing, when you are playing with Ancelotti, the Ancelotti coach, you do. They're not born you. You have to you. They will improve by fire by person because of the run to let it as a little thing. But, but so how is it teaching them those kind of passes? I've done so. This is a, it's, it's Godfather when it comes to coaching. It's Godfather when it comes to coaching. I don't know about when it comes to coaching. A baba, when it comes to coaching, a baba, it's Godfather when it comes to coaching because those players will improve by Jeba Jay, they will improve like mine. If, if, if you are a manager like Ancelotti. Why would you want to stop coaching when you have this kind of players? Mm, everybody me. have a different priority to do so. Man, you wouldn't want to, what I'm saying is you would not want to stop coaching when you wake up every morning, you think about the caliber of players you're gonna coach. Mm-hmm. I agree. You know what I mean? Like I agree. this kid in a way, I'm even I'm even a bit disappointed of Tramani because Tramani to me has not stepped up. No, no, I'm, no, I'm not saying he's not good, he's good, you know what I mean? But I'm not seeing Madrid football in him. He hasn't yet. shown enough, he hasn't shown enough. Yet. He's going to develop, but I've not seen Madrid football in him. Yeah, I've, I've already started seeing Madrid football in Kamavinga. Kamavinga, yeah, because some of the passes he makes is not just an average, an average midfield. It's, it's, it's called in the first leg goal against City in the Bernabeu. That's what I mean. The guy has really stepped up. Yep. And he plays for France, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He plays for France. Oh my, yeah. oh my God, man. Not in the under 21, in the first team. He plays in the, in the first team. Oh, come on, man. 
Can't you see the kind of game he's playing? How will you put that kind of player on a 21? Are you mad? Yeah. You know, so that midfield of Kamavinga and um Kamavinga Bellingham, no, no, Kamavinga, Bellingham, and whoever who I don't know now. Okay, it's you know. Interesting. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see how it goes over or tomorrow. Um, what's so? What's the prediction of tomorrow? For tomorrow? What's the prediction? Kind of getting beat, man. We're getting beat, man. I just hope they perform. Uh, am I confident for tomorrow? No, but I will say, let's see how it goes tomorrow. You are just hoping, man. How are you going to beat City? It's going to be like eleven fifteen in my time here, so I should be. I should be fine with it. I should be. Okay. We're gonna do a post match. I don't know if it's gonna be right after the match or maybe in the, in the night, but we'll do a post match. That one, that one, we'll do a post match. I don't know if it's gonna be right after the match, but we'll probably do a post match. But hopefully, we'll do so we can celebrate. See, these, these players, if we're gonna be honest, a lot of our players, Chelsea players, have been, um, have been showing good signs recently. Exactly. But tomorrow will be a good test to see how far they've come. Yeah. I agree. Mm-hmm. And if they beat if they beat Man City tomorrow, and they make a statement win tomorrow, and I think that will change our season a lot. Of course, because it means we're going to be we're going to be in the second cup final. Yes. No. You know? Yes. And it's not even about being the final; it's about winning it. No, no. But final, we all know anybody can win the final. Can win. I agree. You know. Just imagine. Just imagine. Get, get, get just imagine Chelsea win tomorrow and Coventry to beat United on Sunday. Just which, which can, oh man, I don't know about that, man. Coventry. <laughs> just imagine Coventry beating United on Sunday. Uh, because I just, I just have to wait for that game. I don't want to say anything about that game, man. Yeah. Because I don't know, I don't know how Coventry want to overcome my United. Abdul, Coventry are in championship eight in the table. <laughs> they are eight. In, I'm not joking. They're out. They're out of the playoff because you have to be in six to be in the playoff. Uh, out of the playoff, so they're playing at the no, no. If if Abdul, they lose, they're a bit wolf at their stadium. Molino said they're a bit wolf at home. A bit ah, wolf. See, I I know, but this is what it's a different atmosphere. Look, if United lose to Coventry, it's okay, a, yeah. before the boss, the United boss leaves, Sacking Wembley, him. just give, just just give Ted Hag his sack later. Sack, sack him, sack him, sack him. In Wembley, make sure they make sure they type. Is resignation letter. I mean, type is a sacking letter, and just keep it before to, before Sunday's game. Yeah, so you. that if he lose, just give him that sack letter. Man. Very he, he doesn't even have to get to the bus back to Manchester if he wants. He can just be going back to Holland. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like I you, you know, just Coventry. Are you crazy? Semi final and you know, Coventry beat United tomorrow. That might be one it's of the most easiest epic cup I've ever won. Remember the Wigan, oh, Wigan Man City. Remember the Wigan Man City. I think Man City won six games. Abdul, you are just, you are just, you are doing Twitter talk now. You are talking like you are on Twitter. It's not going to happen. Okay. It's, it's not going to happen. How? My dream of epic cup. I'm not disappointed. No, no, no. You are doing, you are doing Twitter football. You're just talking anything. You know that comes to mind, and I you do, just type it. Hypothetically, like what if they beat United on Sunday? What is not going to happen? Okay, what if hypothetically? What if it's just like saying, Oh, hypothetically, if you're not your height, if you're shorter, but you're not going to be shorter. Abdul, football is all about surprises and strange stunts that happen. <sighs> Abdul, I'm not saying they will beat it's United. Like saying, I would like it's like saying you're six foot, okay. And I'm saying, oh, hypothetically, what if, if tomorrow you are five five? But you're not going to be five five. You're six foot already. I agree. You're not going to grow short. I agree, but I thought you never told so, me. So, so, why am I thinking about it? I do. If just, give, me, just give, just give Ten Hag his letter, like if it, it's going to be Sunday, just give, just it's gonna be, I do. It's going to be a World War Two on Sunday. Social media will explode if Coventry beat United on Sunday. You know? <sighs> that's, that's, that, that's the end of Ten Hag. I'm sure he knows that himself. I do social media will end if that happens. Social media will just end. <laughs> I'm not joking, though. Social media will end. It will end though if that happens. If that happens no. for me, it's over. Uh, no, no, no. I 
to, I'm, I, I'm not even thinking about it, man, because I know it won't happen. How is it, how is it going to happen? They're going to get like two penalties from VAR, and then my United is going to play with nine men. It's possible. And then it's going to snow, and then they're going to cancel the match after 80 minutes. How is that going to happen? How is it going to happen? It's not going to we'll, happen. We'll see. Football is, football is very strange, so we'll see. <laughs> no, look, the final is going to be between the two Manchester teams. Whoever wins, you know, luck is on their side. We shall see. But the I'm not, gonna... not anybody. We shall see. All right. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. It is what it is. Guys, smell the like button, guys. Guys, tomorrow is going to be a big day for the... What, what time is the... Is the 11, 11, 15 in my oh, period. You, your time is different. Okay, I've got to check. Yeah, 5, 15 in UK. Oh, evening kickoff. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, Chelsea play tomorrow. Chelsea ladies also play tomorrow. Rabbi. Semi-final of the Champions League. Oh. Yeah, we play oh. Barcelona too. Okay. Yeah, Chelsea ladies. I think after Chelsea match, immediately after Chelsea match, they start their own match. Okay. I think so. Where are they playing? Are they playing Stamford Bridge or? No, they are playing at, no, they are playing at the Camp Nou, Barcelona Stadium. Camp um, Barcelona, okay. okay. Yeah. I'll watch them tomorrow. I'll watch them tomorrow. They play on on, on YouTube, Dan, Dazen on YouTube. You can watch it on Dazen on YouTube. So. Okay. Yeah, smash the like button, guys. Chelsea, Chelsea ladies and the guys play tomorrow. Hopefully, let's, let's support our boys for tomorrow. Like the damn vid. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Like that vid. Like that vid. Peace out. God bless my peace.